What's up you guys? It is Thursday, September 8th, and I'm about to go to the gym with Tawani. Um, I think we're probably gonna deadlift and I might show you some clips of that. But I was thinking of doing this Q&A differently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of answer questions throughout the night or the day or whenever I want. I might just finish it all tonight. So while uh, during sets or like things like that, just to change it up a bit. But first, I am gonna use my BPI BCAAs. It is the snow cone flavor. So I'm about to post put it. My first time using this flavor. Uh, it's not gonna be smart. Hold up. Gotta make like a little tube thing. I usually have like a Yamura, but I don't know where it went. I think my mom threw that shit away. I feel like I'm like doing drugs right now. <laughs> This is not gonna work. Wow, thanks, Dad. Just to get the ball there. No. How many times do you have to get it? No, just one. Ah, that's it. Ah, just that one. Thank you. I've never tried this flavor before, so I'm gonna shake it and try it for you guys. I'm gonna let you know how it tastes. Beep, 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 beep. Mm -hmm. mm, it tastes really good. I approve. I like it. I actually like a lot of the BPI products. I'm not a big pre-workout taker and I really enjoy taking the BPI watermelon pre-workout. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I will answer some questions in a little bit and I hope you guys enjoy this kind of Q&A. I know I usually just sit down and kind of answer questions, but I'm gonna try it differently and then you guys can comment down below and tell me how you liked it, if you liked it better, like answering questions throughout the day or if you just like a sit down and answer question type deal. So, we'll see how it goes. YouTube. Hello. Ah! Oh, it's freezing. We're just lying around, burning it down, sipping on some cold Jack Daniels, jamming to some old Alabama with you, baby, laying right here. Alright, guys, so I am here at Alphalete with Wani. We're warming up on the treadmill. She's doing stair masters because the other treadmill doesn't work. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and answer like probably like two questions from the Q and A while I'm warming up. Let's what we have here. I hope you guys can hear me. What is your worst habit? My worst habit would have to be I pick up my face a lot. Like if I see like a pimple, I pick at it and that. It's a really bad habit of mine. Um, and I think that's about it. I don't know. Who is your favorite sister-in-law? Bianca. Bianca is my favorite sister-in-law ever. She's awesome. What is the one thing you want to experience before you die? Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, what is the one thing you'd want to experience before you die? Oh, okay. Um, that's 
hard. I didn't have to really think about that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess just like be able to at least like see my success. I don't know. Is that like an experience? But like do something crazy, like something that I'll never forget. I, I really don't know to be honest. Uh, lately I've been liking the Adidas shoes and some of the Adidas crop tops and stuff they're really cute but I still have to go with Nike um, what has really helped you lose weight consistency consistency in the gym and your eating habits it's okay if like one day you don't want to like eat good or eat clean but get back on it the next day and just be consistent with everything that you do um, have a goal be determined and don't stop when you're tired if you could live in any other city in the u.s where would you move to i would probably move to california la in the united states um I really enjoy LA, so probably LA. I don't know. Um, that's probably all I'm gonna answer for now. But Trey and I, are we doing legs today? Or, or deadlift? I don't know. We'll see. All right, so I just warmed up with 25 plays on each side for deadlifts. I haven't deadlifted in so, so long. But here goes Tawani. She's a beast. She's trying to do a powerlifting meet. I don't know when, but stay tuned. How did that feel? Good. Good. become a power lifter. Did I say power? I meant power. <laughs> Paula the power lifter is coming out. Look at her. We're gonna get her to like, mm, at least 185 today. How do you feel? <laughs> so we're gonna aim for 185 PR. This is 35, 17, 145. Yeah. 185 is a little much. You got it. You can do one. Okay, math. Okay. Alright, cool. Going for 200? How much is this? 9180 225 225 Damn B 225 Yeah let's see if I can 3 3 you're up What was what has been your max My max all time Five. Holy shit, okay. Yeah, 275. But I'm not that consistent. So if I was consistent, I would definitely be at three plates, which is my goal. Which is 315. Okay. 
but we're getting there. All right, let's see this. One more, come on T. Good shit. Good shit. You got it, P. <laughs> How are you feeling? PV Fitness takes power lifting. <laughs> oh god, that felt good. Good job. Hey, back to my question. If you could be anybody for a day, celebrity, athlete, etc., who would you be and why? I would probably say Simone Biles because growing up, I was a gymnast and my dream has always been to be, go to the Olympics and like win. So to, uh, this year she was a woman's gymnast winner for the Olympics and so I admire that about her. But I mean of course there's always like, I don't know, at the end of the day you have your own life and really you can only just be the best version of yourself so if I could just save myself I would just save myself. What's your opinion on military? I have mad, Woo, sorry. I have mad respect for anybody going to the military. All of uh, their families and everything they do, risking their lives every day to fight for our country. So I really appreciate them. I look up to them. It's great what they do for us. No matter what, your mental health should be everything to you. Like, mental over physical any day. Um, what, what, what was your most embracing childhood moment? I've had a lot of amazing childhood moments, but I would say whenever I was younger, we used to always go to the lake, ride jet skis every single Sunday with the family, friends, and anybody that had jet skis or ATVs. And that was honestly something that I always looked forward to every single weekend and I miss that so much I haven't done that in so long with just like everybody that we used to go with and that was just like awesome memories but obviously there's like a million more. Um, that will be it for now because I don't want to get cold doing the next set but I will answer more later. Alright so. Okay so this is the last set. We've done four sets total and I'm going for 185. For at least two reps, and we'll see how it goes. You can do it. You're strong. Take a deep breath. It's all in the core. Come on, you got it. Pull, pull, pull. You got it. There's no way I can do That was so heavy. But I did one, so that was technically Good job. Good job, Paula. <laughs> you did so good. Thank you. That was hard. I didn't think it was going to be that heavy, but it was. But it's okay, I'm sitting at like 120 pounds right now. Good job. Okay, so Tony and I just finished working out, so I decided I would finish the Q&A right here, right now. 
Um, plata or plomo? I'm guessing that's silver or lead. I don't know. I pick silver, plata. Um, what can I do to be as pretty as you? Eleni, you're gorgeous, so you don't have to do anything. The real question is, when are we working out together? Ken Kenna, like I told you, just hit me up whenever you want. I don't know your schedule. So whenever you want, whenever you're free, we will get a workout in. What are you gonna be for Halloween? That is unknown yet. I have zero idea what I'm gonna be for Halloween. What would be your current goal with your fitness journey? Um, right now, my goal is honestly to just kind of maintain a healthy weight and a weight that I am comfortable with being consistently. Um, and just focus on my mental health because I've struggled with that, just going like into macros, out of macros, and I finally am in a place where I'm happy and I just want to maintain that place and just be happy with myself and where I'm at mentally and physically. Um, first, what would your ideal or perfect gym have? Equipment or environment? Second, what future plans do you have within the fitness community? Sponsorships, ambassadorship, personal training, clothing line, etc. My ideal gym, environment wise, it'd be cool if I could have it in like a beach. Um, probably like outside, like have like a beach view. I don't know, honestly. Tumbling. But yeah, like she said, my ideal gym would probably have a little bit of both. So some like workout machines, like for like lifting weights and stuff. And then also like tumbling, some like gymnastics, more type of rhythmic gymnastics type of equipment. So you can also tumble and do whatever it is that you want. And then I would have like ropes and like, some, uh, what's that show called? Uh, the American, American Ninja, Ninja Warrior, Warrior type workout. That would be awesome. That would be my ideal gym. Um, future plans I have with the fitness community. Um, right now, I'm not, um, with sponsorships. Um, if a sponsorship comes to me and I feel like I truly believe in the product, then I will accept the sponsorship. Right now, I'm not like, searching for one or looking for one if it comes to me it comes to me and if it doesn't then it won't come um i'm not really like looking for anything uh yet and for personal training i was actually probably thinking of doing the nasm to be able to personal train um i know that is something that i do want to do my um another question i had was what am i majoring in i'm majoring in kinesiology and fitness and sports so with that degree I could also do personal training, but I do want to do it like a little bit earlier, so I'll probably do my NASM certification, um, possibly start personal training at some point, or like online coaching, we'll see about that. And clothing line, that would be really cool to have my own clothing line someday. I don't think I would ever do something like huge, I'd probably do something that would represent like me if y'all wanted to like support me or something like that, nothing like big or, I'm not sure yet, maybe, I mean for now like 21 so we'll see do you usually dream if yes about what are those dreams yes I do dream quite often and my dreams are usually about what I think about the night before um, I guess it's while I'm thinking about something so much I just end up dreaming about it or like sometimes I feel like I even get answers in my dreams it's kind of weird I don't know would you live during a time with no cell phones or computers and what technology could you not live without? Yes, I would. If I could go and live in a time when there's no cell phones or technology, I would do that 100%. I think nowadays, phones and electronics are is such a big deal and I think it's ridiculous because now anywhere you go, you're always seeing somebody on the phone or texting like you'll be eating dinner with your family and that's all people do. And I think that's just disrespectful. I think if you can take it out of the equation, people would be so much happier. There would be so much less drama and I just think it'd be a better place overall. Um, what technology can I not live without? I, I would have to say my phone. My phone does absolutely everything. It texts, calls, uses the internet. 
whatever I wanted to do. You can even edit a video on your phone. So probably my phone. Why are you so cute though? Come visit Colorado. When are we going to work out together? Kayla Joy said that. Well, thank you. That's sweet of you. Um, I hope to come visit Colorado sometime, probably next year, or even maybe this winter. I'm not sure. I don't know if I would. I probably wouldn't do anything like a meetup because I'm not like huge like that in order for me to like have meetups anywhere. But maybe someday I'll have something like that. I don't know. And if I ever go to Colorado and you hit me up and we're kind of in the same like place, I'm, I'm down for a workout. Um, where do you see yourself in five to ten years? I see myself married within like five years and kids within like more in the ten year range. Successful job, graduated from college, and yeah, traveling the world. Do you want kids? Yes, I do want kids. I want three kids. Uh, twins. Twin boys and a little girl if you want to be really specific. Alright, last question and probably the question that I got like 10 times. Um, Tim and I, what happened with you and Tim? Are you and Tim still together? What happened between Tim and I, it's gonna stay between Tim and I. I am not gonna put anything out there on social media. I'm not gonna talk to you guys about what happened between um, that's gonna be out of respect um, and I personally don't want to put my business out there I don't think it's anybody's business to know what happened between Tim and I because it's a problem between Tim and I Tim is a great person and um, that's all I have to say about that I won't ever have anything negative to say about it um, but yeah that is all I'm gonna say to you guys about that. I'm sorry if y'all didn't, if y'all expected a different answer, but it's just not me. I don't care to tell you guys about what happens with my relationships or what I'm doing about that. Um, I just, it's none of people's business and that's really all I have to say about that. So I'm really sorry if that didn't answer your question, but I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A and I'll see you on the next video, bye.